Today I'm going to start a new batch of Comfrey Tea Fertilizer. Uh, the only thing I need for that is a bucket with a lid on it and some Comfrey leaves. Uh, this is the bucket I'm going to be using. It was originally purchased as a Bokashi bucket, but it never did work very well. But it's handy for the purpose that I want to use it because it has a little spigot on it where I can drain out the liquid fertilizer. It has a lid which keeps flies and mosquitoes out. And in the bottom I put a it came with a, a grid. I put a, a screen wire mesh over the top of it so I can pack this full of comfrey leaves, fill it with water, and then let it set for a few weeks. And then when I need to fertilize the plants, I simply open that spigot and take out about a quart of liquid and mix it with water in the watering can and uh, fertilize the plants. So I'm going to go out to the garden and uh, get some uh, comfrey leaves and we'll get started on this. These are the uh, comfrey plants I'll be using to pull leaves off of. I'll get just enough leaves to fill this bucket about three-fourths full. And I'll chop them up and I'll put them in the uh, can and we'll see what happens. So I'll pause this for just a moment while I pick some leaves. Okay, I've picked the leaves and I've torn them up and I've packed them down inside of the bucket. So it's about three-fourths full. It's tightly packed, which is the way I wanted it. And you can see here where I cut out one plant and took the leaves and that one plant was enough to totally fill this bucket. So now I need to take it up to the house and fill the bucket with water and then we'll set it and have it uh, wait for a couple weeks. Alrighty, we're up here by the faucet so we'll start uh, filling this bucket with water. I want the, all the leaves completely covered with water so that they'll uh, all break down and digest. And this is an anaerobic process. Uh, when this is finished, the lid will be put on it and uh, keep flies and mosquitoes and etc. out of the brew. So uh, there will be no air in here for these plants, but the uh, comfrey leaves will break down very, very rapidly. Bucket is uh, nearly full and uh, We'll be ready to uh, take these and set them off into an area to, to ferment. Some people uh, recommend uh, putting uh, weight on the leaves, uh, like a rock or something, to hold them under water. I've not found that necessary because they break down no matter what you do. If they're just sitting right on the surface, as some of these are, they will still break down very rapidly. So there we have our comfrey, tree, uh, uh, comfrey tea uh, fertilizer ready to brew. And we're going to set this, close it, and set it off into a, a shaded space where it will set for a couple weeks and we'll test it and see what the... Uh, fertilizer looks like. We know it's ready when it turns a real dark brown or almost black and uh, right now you'll see the water is clear but it won't be for long. It'll break down uh, amazingly fast. So we'll set this off and we'll be back in a couple of weeks to check the status of it. It's been two weeks since I started the uh, Comfrey tea uh, fertilizer and so I'm going to check in on it today and see what it looks like see if it's ready to make some fertilizer it looks like it's fermented down really well uh, it's a lot of good looking fertilizer in there this uh, leaves here after I've used the fertilizer will be put in the uh, compost bin and uh, they'll break down in uh, quick order so it looks like it's uh, been brewed really well <laughs> it has a terrible smell uh, some call it swamp water uh, because of its smell but many people have commented that uh, <clears throat> plants don't have noses so they can't smell the fertilizer. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I have here my uh, watering can. 
which is a two and a half gallon watering can, and use this fertilizer at a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, one part of this fertilizer to 10 parts of water. So that is a cup and a half of this to a gallon of uh, water, that's a two and a half gallon can. So I'm going to drain out about uh, three and a half cups and put into that uh, watering can. This old uh, bucket that was designed for uh, Bokashi works really, really well for uh, this because of the spigot on it. And as uh, you may remember from earlier in the video, I put a screen in the bottom so that the uh, plants don't go down. So there's the uh, compost tea fertilizer. It's uh, looking very potent. Uh, this fertilizer is a high potassium uh, fertilizer which is good for fruits, uh, vegetables that are setting fruits, such as tomatoes and uh, peppers, squash, things like that. And that's what I'm going to use to uh, fertilize this with. So I'm going to fill that can with water, uh, take it out to the gardens and water the tomatoes and the pepper plants. So this uh, project has been successful. It would actually be uh, better if it had set longer, maybe four weeks. But uh, I needed the fertilizer now and I'll probably I'll refill that bucket with water and let it set again for a couple more weeks. But uh, for this particular project, I'm going to consider it uh, completed, and I'll go ahead and uh, close out this video. Thanks for watching.